Hey guys, so today we're talking about everything you need to survive a festival. I'm assuming everybody this week is gonna put out their festival lookbooks and it's gonna be pretty much all the same looks. So Blake and I wanna do something a little different. We wanna do everything that we need that's not clothes. We did put two kind of yeah, festival we... looks together. This is what we'll wear. We'll show you how they look, full body. But these are the stuff we're bringing besides our clothes. So as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff. But first, we think every you should, you should bring a bag. Yeah. So you can put all this stuff in it. And you know, we have two examples here. These, these are from uh, Hex Bags. This is like super minimalistic, not too huge. Um, we'll fit everything light, um, you know, has a str strap zipper so nothing really falls out. Now, and with that, I, I actually prefer a drawstring. Super easy for me, dude. You just pull it open, nice and wide. You stuff all your shit in there. Yes, there's, mean, actually, there's actually a cover. So if, yeah. if it does get super dusty, you can pull this off and cover up the whole backpack so all the dust Wow. So we'll have a link to Hex Bags down below, check them out. But what's in the bag is equally as important. Yeah, I think, I think we should go with, with the most obvious first, you yes. know. Let's start with staying hydrated. Water bottles. Yes, so every festival you guys need, I mean we can't overemphasize as much how much you guys need to stay hydrated. I mean, it's either gonna be too hot, it's gonna be humid, uh, you guys are gonna be partying, drinking, you're gonna be just having a good time. So staying hydrated is very important. And also using the right water bottle is, is essential. So I prefer a handle, you know, it, it's pull it in and out of your bag. Yes. George, on the other hand, prefers... I prefer a swell bottle because um, I filled this up last night and I put ice in it and there's still ice in it right now. So that's like, I've taken this to the beach in 100 degree weather, yeah. refilled it a, like three or four times with like warm water bottles and the ice still stays keeps your stuff cold. I don't like warm water at all. So if it's not cold, I won't drink it and then I'll be, get super dehydrated. I mean, I feel like this is like 100 years old. I mean, how, how old is this? This is probably three years old and it's, you know, it's seen, it's seen some things. But, <laughs> you know, this is my gym water bottle. This is... This is everything. Everything. But definitely a must have at the festivals. Now to accompany the water and stay hydrated, you also need some snacks in your system to keep you going because again, you are going to be partying, you are going to be having a blast. So sometimes you use you tend to skip lunch or you, you tend to skip dinner, you yes. know? So we recommend nice, like a healthy protein bar. The lines at every festival are like a mile long. So when you're, when you think about being hungry, you're gonna wanna get in line, but you're gonna still have to wait like 45 minutes to get your food. That's so right. having something to hold you over is definitely a plus. And you know, having the vitamins in your system because you know, like the sun's beating down, you're gonna be getting dehydrated. You're probably gonna be drinking, so you know, the more vitamin C you can get in there and like just kind of keep your immune system up for the weekend yep. is what you need. And it's very easy to just... Throw it in the water bottle. Yeah, just take one of these. Really simple. It's an yes. uh, emergency. Yes. Well, and if you have been drinking, we also have um, these right here called Blowfish. They these are, are lifesaver. For your hangover, a must have because, you know, some bands you want to see start early in the morning and you probably didn't go to bed that early, so these are a lifesaver. So I guess on to our safety portion of a festival survival guide. So we have some stuff here that we think, you know, it's gonna make your life a little bit less regrettable after you leave the festival. Less painful. Yes. So sunscreen, I mean, there's little to no shade at most festivals. <laughs> um, you know, keep your skin sunscreened. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just, is that a word, sunscreen? I think so. It is now. Just apply sunscreen to make sure you, you don't just put it on your face, you put it on your neck, you put it on your arms, anywhere that your that skin is exposed. Yes, because I mean, you will get red. Even if your knees are exposed, dude. Day two and three with sunburn is uh, not a fun day two and three. No, it's not. Um, so next, you know, you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. If you don't have comfortable shoes, which is coming up soon, um, you know, your heels are gonna rub a little bit, which Oof. always happens, especially if you get like new vans or something, you know, it always happens. So we have, you know, just Band-Aids, and this is a product we got recently. It's geared toward the ladies, but this shit rocks. So basically, it's like new skin, pretty much, and you spray it on your heels or wherever you get blisters, or you know, like, if you're working out and you get calluses on your hand, I spray it just right across here, and it works perfectly. It works. But basically, it creates an extra layer of skin, so 
It prevents blisters from blistering. It's like a band-aid, but without having an actual band-aid on there. A liquid band-aid, yes. Go. It's called Pre-Heels. We'll have a link to it down below. Check it out. Don't be afraid of the pink packaging, guys. <laughs> it's also very important to have some eye drops and lip balm. Very important. I mean, if there's a sandstorm, or again, if you're drinking too much, eye drops <laughs> really gonna help. <laughs> what is that? That's what is that? sandstorm. Oh, wow. song. <laughs> if also, if that song starts playing, you're gonna need some clear eyes. Lip balm, <laughs> lip balm is very important because the sun is, is is gonna dry your lips as well. You don't wanna be walking around with chap lips or looking like that guy who's completely smashed. Yes. Don't be that person, okay? And okay, so now I guess more clothing-based things, but still not outfits. So hats, hats. Right? like hat or you know anything to keep the sun out of your face. Just you, you won't regret it. Yeah. So, you know, this fits right in a bag. You can crumple it up and, you know, it's a dad hat, so they they're already look wrinkled and messy anyway, so you can pretty much throw this wherever if you don't yeah. want to wear it. Or if you lose it, you lose it. Yes, exactly. Um, sunglasses, I'd say better to go on the cheaper side because if, if, well, it depends on the type of concert goer you are. So if you're in, like, the pit and you're jumping around and crowd surfing, Go a little cheaper with the sunglasses, because chances are they're not going to make it home. <laughs> but if you're someone like me who just goes and sits back and enjoys the music, you can, you know, you, you can, can dress up a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Which brings us to our next point. Um, wear a watch, but wear a watch without a leather band. So, you know, a NATO strap or a plastic strap, just because, you know, people are throwing water, you're going to be sweating, and like a, le a leather band that has like drink stains and water stains and it's not a good look anymore. So you Yeah, know. and then if it's humid, dude, it gets really sweaty and it just tends exactly. to burn. Yeah. So NATO straps are the way to go. They were made for the army to pretty much endure any type of conditions. So it can definitely take a festival. Mm, yes, it can. And this is Blake's Blake's Okay, th this I'll is let him to handle this. Something I learned last year. There was a like a huge sandstorm. Okay. First of all, I'm asthmatic. Second of all, everybody's eyes were, were burning, everybody's mouth was getting full of sand. So I just grabbed a bandana. He I know became, it, it looks like I'm gonna rob a bank. He became an outlaw. It looks like, but I pretty much wore it throughout the day. And when the sandstorm came, I just went, bam. So this is not really fashionable, but you could like tie it up, put it around your neck. You could put it in your bag. You don't have to freaking wear it. Right. But this is great for sandstorms. Let's go with our shoe selections. Some, obviously something that's comfortable, something that you can walk around all day, something that you don't really care about it getting messed up because it's dusty, it's muddy, it's, you know, they're not gonna make it out in great shape. Yeah. So something, you know, that's probably under $100 and comfortable that you can wear. We have these from uh, Saludos, you know, just some espadrilles. These are a little fancier, they got little tassels. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then, you know, just some, some straight white standard Shoes that you could really get beat up in. Lastly, we also recommend to have cash and maybe just one credit card. Don't have your bank card, don't have everything because if you do lose your wallet, you're gonna be fucked. Yes. So have you know enough cash as you think you may need. I think no more than hundred bucks, right? Yeah. Per day. Oh, per day. Per day, hundred bucks per day. And just one credit card and your ID. That's it. So our last two things aren't necessarily going to help you survive, but they will make things a little more interesting. Yeah. So, you know, if you're staying at a house with a bunch of your friends, and especially if your friends are musically talented, if you're driving to the festival, bring a guitar. Yep. It's just gonna make good times. You know, you can have your iPod playing all day, but if, you know, somebody sits around and they can play a few songs and you guys- Play something, dude. You guys can sing, you guys, you know, you guys can sing around the, uh, the campfire or whatever yeah. around the hotel. Definitely, it's great to have a guitar on hand. So, Fender sent over these guitars for us to bring to the festivals. So we're actually, uh, you know, gonna take them along with us and have a good find time. our musically talented friends to sing us some songs. And along with that, we recommend a little pre-game action. So I mean, yes, it's really expensive inside, right? Inside festivals, it tends to be about 10 to 12 bucks per drink. Yes. You know, just grab one of these, pre-game it, you'll have a good time. Don't go overboard. Yeah. Because you're going to have a bad time. You know how to pace yourself, right? If you're under 21, don't drink though. Yes. Drink, <laughs> drink responsibly. Yes. Um, so that pretty much wraps up our festival survival guide. I know this wasn't the most 
glamorous video, but trust me, when you guys have all this stuff at a festival, you will thank us. Yes, you so, will. you know, a good backpack, you know, some, some water bottles, vitamin C, hangover stuff, um, granola bar, just stuff to, you know, take care of blisters or any type of wounds you may have, sunscreen, chapstick, clear eyes, hats, watches with NATO straps, sunglasses, and comfy shoes, a guitar, and some vodka. <laughs> or your drink of choice. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge, and uh, comment below what festivals you guys are going to this season. Thanks, guys.